Hi there. If you've been watching the channel recently, you'll be familiar with what we've been doing in terms of chopping. And the key element, or one of the key elements to that, is looking at the historical data from Betfair and looking at the price reduction in running for our preferred horses. And the important thing about that, of course, is those price reductions are based on a drop from BSP. So it might be sensible if you're doing anything like chobbing or dobbing or anything else like that, where you're using that historical record from BSP down to whatever price was matched in running, that you actually place your bets at SP. Now there's a variety of ways of doing that within Fairbot, and I just thought I'd quickly run through the various options available to you. If I switch to the ladder on this uh, particular one, you're probably familiar with this option here, where you can cancel, keep, or take SP when you place a bet. So if I just pop in a bet up here for £100 on a line of descent, that money will sit in the market until such times as either the market drifts before the off and that money is taken, or if it's not taken at the time of the off, then Betfair automatically applies it to the SP. Now the issue with that, of course, is that if this market drifts, takes your money and then continues to drift, you may end up with the SP being significantly higher than the price that you actually took. Conversely, of course, you may find that the market shortens in price, so this money will never be matched and you'll end up getting a much smaller price. But the important thing there, however, is you'll be taking SP. So that ties in with all the historical data that you've based your decision on. So that's how you would go about doing SP if you were doing it manually. But there are a number of options available to you if you were using automation. So let me just cancel that out of the way. And if I switch to the automation tab, I've got a blank demo set up here. So if you set up any rule, I won't bother filling in all the details here. Um, if we go to action, virtually any action that you take, so if we just choose place a bet, you'll see you have the take SP option down here. So irrespective of what you place, you essentially simulate what I've just done up here. And so you can specify your odds, so you might want to put in something quite high in the hope that the odds drift. And if it doesn't get matched, then that rule will simply be taken, or, or the bet, I should say, will be taken at SP. There's an additional uh, option when you're placing a bet. <clears throat> Rather than taking SP, if I switch that off, what we can do is actually choose the bet odds to be actual SP. Now the significant thing about that, of course, is that SP is only known after the race starts. So Fairbot's actually got to wait until the race starts. In other words, this bet at SP is actually going to go in play. Or sorry, let me rephrase that. It's only going to be submitted in play. So that's an, that's an important distinction between taking SP and applying the bet at SP. And also, if you have a condition that says um, you only want this to be placed if the market is not in play. In other words, before the off, this bet will never be submitted. So in other words, this rule here would put in a, a bet of uh, a stake of 100 at SP, or it will try to, but it has to wait for Betfair to tell Fairbot that the race has started and this is what the SP is. So as long as you don't have that condition in there or something similar that will stop that bet being submitted, what then happens is Fairbot then submits the bet 
at the SP figure that Betfair informed Fairbot. So it's a subtly different version than actually telling Fairbot in advance, saying, look, just take SP if my bet isn't matched before the off. There is another one that you can do, which again is subtly different from the others, and that is actually place a BSP bet. Now this is useful because it obviously allows you to put in all the usual stuff like stake and you can do conditions and everything else. However, it allows you to specify a minimum odds limit. So you could set this up in advance and say, right, I want you to um, take SP, but not if the SP is less than five. So that can be a useful thing as well. Now, the, the, the big difference with that is that is specifically an SP request. So when this bet is submitted, let's say five minutes before the off, the bet isn't placed into the market as such. What you're doing is you're informing Betfair, say, look, just hold this money for me and uh, apply it to the SP price that you calculate at the off. And then it will go. It is also important to recognise that you won't necessarily get all that money matched. So if you're trying to stick a thousand pounds on a, a horse that's trading up in the 500s, not all of that £1,000 may be applied. It really depends on how much money is in the market, and it can be limited from that point of view. My point being is this particular method ensures that you apply something at SP. You can put a limit on it in terms of um, minimum value, which can also be very useful without having to muck around with certain conditions and so on and so forth. But it's subtly different from the other methods I've just shown you in that the money isn't sitting in the market, which could potentially be matched prematurely. It's sitting there on hold, Betfair is looking after it, and will automatically apply it as an SP bet. So you won't actually see it in the market as such until such times as Betfair submits it on your behalf and it's matched. So that's essentially the, the methods that you have in terms of setting up your um, BSP-based bets. And certainly, if, as I say, if you're using anything like dobbing or chobbing uh, and you've based all your decision making on historical data that uses BSP as its starting point, placing your bets at BSP may be something that you want to consider. Okay, guys, thanks very much. Speak to you later.